Hey guys, John Grimsmo here. It's another machine day. Not a new machine day, it's a used machine day. Our used Williman is getting delivered. So these riggers, Kenco, they've delivered just about every single machine we've ever gotten and uh, they've just been solid. Good. So on that truck is a LNS bar feeder that I got uh, new-ish, direct from LNS. It was like a demo model or something, so I got a good deal on it. And then our 2004 Williman 408 MT. All right. Okay, so the plan is the machine's gonna come in here through this entryway. It's gonna come over to this space over here that we've cleared beside the Swiss where the Williman is gonna go. Cause it's kind of a lathe, but it's kind of a mill. It's both. So it's a mill turn, but it's a tiny little beautiful package. I so can't wait to see what's inside. So this machine popped up on an uh, online used machinery reseller and it sort of made the rounds amongst my friends and they're like, oh, you should buy that, you should buy that. And my buddy CJ, who has a brand new Williman, amazing machine, um, sent this to me and said, John, you should buy that. And I was like, eh, I've wanted one forever, but maybe not now. And then he's like, no, really, you should. He's like, I would buy it if I had more square footage, but I don't. So I thought about it real quick and I talked with the guys and uh, the next day I placed an offer on it and uh, got it. And I've never, I bought the used UMAX that are over there um, from a local deal, but I've never bought one. This was from the States. It was uh, quite a little process to get it purchased and, and, and rigged up here and delivered and had to buy the bar feeder and I'm still gonna have to buy a few accessories for it to get it running properly. Um, it is a 2004, so it's 17 years old, but got a new spindle not too long ago, like last year and uh, it's a solid, solid machine. I've wanted one for years. I'm, I'm wearing the t-shirt right now. Um, I've wanted one for years, but brand new, they're about $800,000, and that's like the cost of the current or even a little bit more, and that's, that's too much for what we need it for. Um, we need it to make the pocket clip on our pens, and pretty much that's it. Right now we're using the Nakamura for that, but a platform like the Williman is a much better uh, platform for doing that kind of work and I've just always wanted one and it popped up and we bought it got it for 80 grand US and then plus the bar feeder was about 17 plus shipping and rigging so probably 150 by the time we're done this but it's gonna be amazing it's gonna let us produce more pens and just do it the way that I think it should be done so man buying a machine sight unseen that I've never done before that's kind of weird I'm excited to see it. I hope it's in good condition. I hope it works. <laughs> I just realized I've never actually even seen a Williman machine in person before. <laughs> uh, I learned about them just after the 2018 IMTS show where they had a booth and they had displays going. I just, I must have walked right by them because my buddies were like, why didn't you check out the Williman booth? Um, so I missed them then, but I learned about them directly after that. Uh, same for Kern actually. And uh, now I get to see one in person. Trying to keep the current running while this old delivery is happening. Uh, I got to replace a broken tool right now, but this is an HSK 40E tool holder, the same one that the Williman is going to be using. So we have some cross compatibility now. That's cool. seen it yet okay so it is it is old and grimy it is 17 years old for sure but uh, a little simple green clean that right up bar feeder interface right there that's good parts come out over there chip tray goes underneath I think from the front you get some air hookups electrical cabinet yeah we'll see
So when I got this from the um, from the used dealer, I was like, I want it to come with just a little bit of tooling, like two specific ones. And it might be these. This is a uh, V insert turning holder. So this gets tool changed into the HSK spindle with these drive dogs to keep it locked. And then you do turning with this holder. And then it puts it away and grabs a milling tool and does milling. So not not thrilled that it's been rolling around since Ohio, but uh, I'm sure it's fine. And then this guy is a slitting saw holder. So you put a big, uh, well not too big, slitting saw so you can cut off a part before um, before it's done. So the uh, the place we got this machine from, it's a medical manufacturing uh, facility in Ohio. They have, I don't even know how many Willamettes, dozens and dozens. I'm sure this old one was replaced with a brand new one. And uh, they, they knew how to run them, they knew how to take care of them, they knew how to maintain them. Um, I talked to the Willamette service rep specifically about this machine. I gave him the serial number and he's like, I know exactly what machine that is. I've seen it, I've been there. It's a nice shop, really clean shop. Um, so all this little data helps you make uh, a purchase like this. And I mean, so far, I'm super happy with it. It's, it's old, but it should be amazing. Um, just like I'm happy with the one UMEC that we have running. It's a 2006? No, 2002. So it's even a little bit older. It's amazing. It's got its little gremlins, but like, I'm really happy with it. So, yeah, I've got a lot of high hopes for this machine. different than the one we have on the Swiss. They're both made by l and this, this is different. Maybe not too much different. The bar is going here. The so bar, 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 bar. This channel opens up and exposes where the bar will go. And this kind of, this keeps it captive. So when it's spinning, it supports it really good. Um, that one has a similar version. It just looks a lot different. Yeah, so a bar rolls down into there. This traps it, captures it from the back and then pushes it forward towards the machine. Maybe it drops the bars down at the bottom. I know that one does, like here. Those are the remnants, the leftover bars that we can't use. Maybe that goes here, I'm not sure. Or maybe it pushes it out the front and into the machine, I'm not sure. Yet. Okay, Okay. I'll walk you guys around the machine and kind of show off. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is a five axis lathe, mill? I don't even know what to call it. Basically the head spins this way. It, it still goes up, down, left, right, uh, the front to back. So that's your three axis. This is four, and then the C axis does five as well. So yeah, you have full five axis. The head will actually rotate down and then machine. So if this is your tool, you can machine straight on the end. You can bore a hole like this. You can drill, you can do anything. Or you can go at an angle, you can go this way. And then the seat can rotate and let you get every feature of the part. So for the pen clip, the way that we do it right now on a four axis lathe is we rotate, do a lot of milling, rotate again, engrave, rotate, rotate, rotate. Um, so that clip is gonna be amazing on here. And then, this is your, we have a Blom laser tool setter, just like what I have on the current. That's cool, so a laser beam here, your tool length gets measured, length and diameter and breakage and everything, gets measured there. You have a vise, which rotates, all it does is it rotates down and 90 degrees up and moves left to right. So imagine if this rotated up and grabbed your part and lets you do your milling, 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 so you mill it off, and then the vise has the part and then it tips it down and then now you can mill on that 90 degree face, like here. And then the jaws pneumatically open up, or hydraulically, I think. They open up and they go down the chute, PVC, <laughs> um, down into the parts, uh, parts bin. Right there. And that's the gist of it. So I see it has, this is interesting. So it has the Bloom tool setter, but it also comes with a Renishaw um, wireless receiver, but I don't think it has a Renishaw tool probe. Let's check. Like I said, I've never touched one of these machines in person before, so this is new to me. I've never seen one. 
Okay, I don't see any tools loaded. But take a look inside there. That's the tool rack. There's like, I see number 34, 35, 36. There's probably 40 plus tools. So that's the spindle, the tool changer. That's about it. The bar will be fed from the bar loader um, through that hole, through the spindle, out the chuck, and get machined. And then this is where you do your tool access and everything. Um, under here, we have the controller. This is a Fennec. In the shop, basically, we have Fanuc on this wall and Heidenheim on this wall. And that wasn't exactly intentional, but it kind of works out. Um, you can just tell how oily everything is from running an oil machine. But well, that's fine. Everything's still here, it's nice. But even, so now we have one, two, three, four Fanuc machines. The interface is different on every single one. The layout of the keys, the extra buttons, um, it's just weird, but that's okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so if it comes with the Renishaw sensor, uh, receiver, all I need is the actual spindle touch probe, which is half the price. Like, it's the same price as that, I think, or something. Um, okay, that saves me money. It's good that that comes with that. The chip tray and chip pan and coolant pump will go underneath the front. So to do a clean out, you need to roll it straight out. Clean out your chips. Our Freddy vacuum cleaner is going to be amazing for that. And uh, yeah, it's got. I'm pretty sure that is the spindle chiller up top. Even though they said it wasn't going to come with that, but it obviously did. So I got to figure that out. Electrical panel, um, three-phase wiring coming in. It runs on 400 volts. Another electrical panel, and then the bar loader. It's a really nice compact machine. Um, it's taller than the Tornos, but not much bigger. Good. I'm super pumped. And yeah, I think that wraps up the uh, Williman delivery and overview video. Um, super pumped. Probably will make parts. Like, I'm hoping it'll be running clips within a month. I know I need to buy a bunch of stuff for it and get it wired up and everything, so I'm, I'm not in a rush to get it going, but within a month, we're probably making, making actual, like, usable parts. So that, that'll be really exciting. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.